joining us for the final award ceremony for the AUPSI Cascade Chapter Drone Prize 2014. We're certainly glad to have all of you here. Thanks for coming. So, um, ladies and gentlemen, in no particular order, I'm going to introduce the three teams who competed in the finals of the Drone Prize, and all of them did a wonderful job. First, I'm going to call up Debbie Blackmore from Three Chicks and a Drone. Um, Debbie, come on up. Uh, Debbie and the other two chicks, sadly neither of whom could be with us this um, this weekend, uh, are using a um, Phantom DJI Phantom in order to help do wetland surveys with an aim towards restoring sort of natural waterways. A very interesting project, and they're from right here in the uh, Portland metro area, and their their project is up in Washougal, right? Scapoos. I knew it was an Indian name. All right. <laughs> and then next up, I'm going to call it the Grady Robotics Team. These good folks came to us all the way from Brady High School in Atlanta, Georgia. And just want to point out, these are high school students. These are high school students. And they've been, they've been using some, uh, some Parrot AR drones, which they've been modifying and customizing, and working with the Metropolitan Atlanta Mass Transit Authority. And I'm sure I just mangled that acronym. But you get the idea. They have, among other things, the second largest police force in the entire state of Georgia. And so they've been looking at potential tactical applications and security applications. As you can imagine, train and bus terminals have enormous fenced yards and those perimeters need patrol. And they're looking at that and all kinds of other problems. And once again, in case I didn't say this, they're high school students. Very, very impressive. Glad to have them here. And our third and final, but by no means final team, is from Furman University. We have stepping to the stage. <clears throat> We have stepping to the stage. <laughs> and behind them, their mentor and professor, Dr. John Conrad. Uh, their study, which was fascinating, I thought was showed a very novel use of drones, was looking at street lighting in um, poor uh, suburbs of Greenville, or uh, Furman University, Greenville, South Carolina, where um, Fur Furman University is located and using that aerial perspective to study how the light from street lights comes out and attempting to correlate that with crime rates. And so a fascinating piece of work which is still ongoing for them. So ladies and gentlemen, please will you join me in giving a big hand to all three of our finalists. Now, we dragged them all out to the middle of the desert for the past few days and have been torturing them steadily there. I'm, I'm frankly surprised they don't look any the worse for wear. Um, but I, I, I've not been alone in this task. I've been ably assisted by two people who, who have been graciously given their time. Uh, the first is Mr. Rich Hansen. He's the Government Affairs Director of the Academy of Model Aeronautics. And um, he, he uh, flew all the way up from Muncie, Indiana, where the AMA is headquartered. <laughs> Celebrity judge. So, just if you want to say anything in closing to the teams or to the attending. Well, absolutely. Thank you, Patrick. I, first of all, I'd like to congratulate all the teams. They did a great job and, and really took it very seriously and, and put all their, their effort. And um, I, I think they all did a great job. And from the Academy Model Aeronautics standpoint, um, we're very, very pleased to have been the sanctioning body for this event. I was very, very honored to be a part of the judging process and being able to come out here and, and witness and, and experience the event. And I hope it'll be an event that'll lead to many, many more like it. Uh, AMA's primary purpose for being here is that we're trying to help both the community as well as the public understand that this growing technology is very, very useful, but it can be deployed safely and responsibly, whether that's for personal, purposeful use, or some type of business application or, or a government project, as, as these guys are very well demonstrating. So, as I said, I congratulate Patrick and Brian for putting on an excellent and safe event, and I hope that uh, we do many more. Thanks. 
Thank you, sir. Thank you. And then, as the third and final judge, the man who has both my right and my left arm, Brian Teckenstein survives, and the other half of the Roswell flight test crew, and then just an indefatigable soul going through this whole project. He's been working days and nights and some hours I don't even think technically exist on the 24 hour clock to get ready for this. So, Brian, any thoughts? Sure, absolutely. I am impressed by what you're able to accomplish with what you're doing here. Uh, and the, the, the contest was a grueling one, but you all took really well through it and did a very good job. I really appreciate that. It, it's amazing. I, I can't wait to see what you do next. Outstanding. Outstanding. Well, I'm going to hand the microphone back to, back to Brian before he runs away here and have him hold it as I dig out of my pocket. Um, well, certainly a token of our esteem, and I, I think one which has gained a little renown in the community, and that is the uh, Roswell Flight Test Crew shoulder patch, which we wear in our uniforms here, and is something of a sought-after token. So I'm going to give one to each person who participated. Thank you, guys. Oh, Very you. well. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, now I'd like to call to the stage um, Mr. Jonathan Evans, paging Mr. Jonathan Evans. Jonathan is the CEO and President and Chief Uber Dude of um, Skyward, which is a, a company which is just starting up here in Portland, very exciting, looking at sort of all facets of the drone thing, from helping companies and public organizations get certificates of authorization going, to developing software that's going to help us safely deploy these drones to gather useful information, and also, oh well, there are more facets of it than I could describe even in a long time, and I've only got a short time, but in any event, a, a, an outstanding member of the drone community community and also the inspiration for the drone prize. He wanted to get out there and show the world what these things can do. So I've asked him to join us and then help hand out the awards. So Jonathan, thank you so much for all of your support and welcome to the stage. Thank you, and uh, just to give you guys a little bit of how, how drone prize started actually, I have to give a nod back to my friends here at the Roswell Flight Test Group. Uh, we actually we're in uh, Eugene at the University of Oregon when the company got started. And the, the very first people that we thought, boy, this, this technology could be useful for were the, the fire department that uh, I happen to be flying a life flight helicopter out, out of uh, Fire Station 2 in Eugene. And, um, and the firefighters said, boy, we would really like to get a look at that. Like, what does it look like? You know, it's one thing for me to yap and yap and talk about the aerial robotic future that's upon us and how the democratizing of the aerial perspective is going to empower us all. And they're like, what? <laughs> so I said, hey guys, could you, could you come show them what you do, what you, you have a passion for? And really, these two are the greatest technological evangelicals I've ever seen. Um, they have a following on YouTube, which many of you are part of, I know. Um, and, and they just have an affable, kind, and gentle manner with this, this technology that seems to get in everybody's heart. And so we asked them to come and uh, demonstrate uh, this, the power of this technology, truly the, the ability to see from above and how it can be applied at the fire station in Eugene. And we did two days of um, grueling, spectacular demos. Uh, the first day we did a swift water rescue. Uh, that was the very first thing we did, where we literally put together um, the, the hazmat team departing from station nine, and then the swift water rescue team from station one going and hopping on the Lamar River. And, uh, and we had a body, a simulated uh, uh, a captain actually, hanging out on an island. And, uh, and, these, and Brian deftly flew the machine deployed with the hazmat team down the river and literally replaced the guys that were deployed to walk along the shore, you know, looking for this drowning victim and, and trying not to fall in themselves. And then there goes Raven <laughs> down the river. And they put the, the first person view goggles on the, on the uh, incident commander's face. And he said, I can see it. I can see, I can see him, there he is. And then sure enough, Swift Water boat, boat comes in. Bam, we pick him up, we get it done in a matter of minutes. Uh, the next one was a hazmat scene, an actual uh, train derailment. And again, flood raven downrange, use the FLIR to identify a, a heated car, uh, things that no human eye could ever see before. And then be able to return the serial number on the side of the train car within two to three minutes. And to have the incident commander again say, you know, that used to take us two guys getting in full gear, going downrange in at least an hour 
before we could get that number off the side of the car to find out whether we need to evacuate this town or not. Changed firefighting. The final day, we, we, we actually got the big chief uh, at a burn building, and this is, this is just, for all the geeks in here, this is probably one of the funnest little, I mean, shows that we've ever put together. We, we lit a burn building on fire, and we got multiple crews of, of, uh, of, and teams coming from the Eugene Fire Department to react to the fire, and then sure enough, Raven goes up, and they show the incident commander as he deploys his guys around this, this fire, he replaces a clipboard in his hand that he has. It's white. It's a whiteboard that has a, a, a virtual rectangle, and it says A B C D or one two three four. And and he's updating from the radio calls. He's updating where his guys are with a marker. We'll replace that. Let's throw that away. Just here, Raven's up there. You can see where they are. Chief took off the goggles and he said, "Firefighting will never be the same again." So that was the inspiration for Drone Prize, and was one of the, the great, great, rough, it was the first project, I can tell of many, that, uh, <laughs> that the Roswell Flight Test Crew and I and, and Skyward will continue to work on. So that's, I wanted to, to let you guys know that that's really where the idea came, came from. So, um, but to you guys, I just want to say thank you, because once we came up with this idea, uh, <laughs> it was a little bit of a gamble, right? Like, <laughs> let's see if, there really is this energy out there. I guess it is. Thank you. You uh, you you made it come. You, you made it come true for us, and that that meant a lot. So, uh, Furman, you guys really put it together. The full stack. I really appreciated the fact that you saw that it's a sensor and it d deploys to an information system. You know that's the future of this technology. Strong work. Uh, Grady, oh, you guys have my heart. You had my drone. <laughs> uh, they got to fly my drone yesterday, as did Deb eventually. Um, but no, you guys, the reason that we chose you is because of just the pure energy of it that you, you said, I'm gonna go out and engage and I'm gonna get this robotics, you know, um, this robotics team or, or club that you have at your, your school and we're gonna attach that to a public entity. And we're gonna continue this conversation. I mean that that was that was something that we hadn't seen. We didn't see that angle before that you could you know start a relationship through this prize, and that, and that's why we really wanted to celebrate you guys because thank you for doing that. That was that was a powerful thing you did for your community, honestly. And next, I maybe recommend going to the fire department. <laughs> <laughs> just 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 a piece of advice. People like fire. People love firefighters. Let's just put it that way. They love firefighters. So thank you guys. And uh, and and Deb. Uh, and I didn't get to meet the other two chicks, but I'm sure I will since you are locals. You are local. Um, we, we chose you because we were inspired by the way you had had a, you know, a career and experience and depth of expertise that you could then see having a new tool to apply it to. And that was a, you know, another thing that we really wanted to, to see. And you guys were perfect. You have a passion about you know, land reclamation and conservation and, and the environment. And you said, ah, I've got a new tool here. I can show people a new, uh, new layer of information uh, in, in a compelling way that will help me further that cause. And that's, that, is, that is quintessentially what I pictured was gonna happen out of, this, <laughs> out of this prize, I guess. So anyway, thank you to all of you. This has been so fun hanging out with you. Uh, I, hope you I hope you wanna come back for one reason or another. And if you do, you know, our door is always open. So, and you guys be 21 next time, right? <laughs> <laughs> So before I announce the grand, uh, the winners and the prize, actually everybody's a winner. But <laughs> <laughs> before I announce the the order of prizes up here, uh, I want to thank um, ATI, our grand prize sponsor, and uh, Stephen Burke. Stephen, where are you? I don't see him. There's Stephen Burke out back there. He was also a true catalyst to this project. We put the idea together. And then we needed somebody to make it legitimate, quite honestly, you know? And we went and walked into Stephen's office and said, hey man, you're legit, you're building these things. Um, what do you think? And he's like, sounds like a good idea. <laughs> sounds like a good idea. And he gave us the support that we needed and, uh, and that really galvanized the, the price going forward because we had one then. So, 
Thank you for putting the prize in drone, drone prize, Stephen. Aerial Technologies International. And it, it, the, let me get the website right since this is going to probably go out to the internet. What? It's aerialtechnology.com. 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 And that's, that's where all of these wonderful bells and whistles come from. And uh, we would like to uh, give you something to put up in your office as well to, uh, to remember and honor this first annual, clearly annual drum prize. So here's your plaque. Thank, Thank you. you, sir. Thank you. And I'm sure that you will see Skyward and ATI together on the on the uh, the banner for the second annual Drone Prize, Drone Prize 2015. Stay tuned. So, without further ado, the third place uh, winner uh, with uh, an excellent entry right here in our backyard, three chicks and a drone. Thank you, Deb. And we will give you. A GoPro Hero 3 Black Edition. Awesome. We had a few hard landings, so this will help with the new camera very much. And the patch. The patch is great. <laughs> the second place went to Grady. And uh, congratulations. We heard that we were going to get, you know, uh, an S8, but uh, I mean, this is not what we expected. This is fantastic. The controllers, the GoPro, I mean, it's exciting to have gotten this far and you know to meet all these people. It's been a wonderful experience and I'll remember this for a while. Personally, I, I'm, I'm blown away at how far we've come uh, from just working over the summer as a, a team of three. This has been such a great experience and we've met so many great people and now we have this to work with and I'm just so excited. You guys all did great, but Furman University, you, uh, you'll be going home with that. Uh, I'm completely blown away uh, coming out here and we were just trying to do our best and we see this thing uh, on the uh, desk over there and it gets put up here behind the first prize and uh, Jonathan announces that we won and just a fantastic feeling. It's the grand prize and he called out our names, looked at us, uh, I mean fantastic, really fantastic. Okay, so that's it from Drone Prize 2014. We're going to be looking for your entry next year. Hope you're watching. See you next time. Fly, Fly safe! safe. <laughs>